So how do you get Dragon's Breath? Well, let's show you how. I'm going to be in creative to just to start. It'll save time here. But we're going to hurry and get into the end. I'm just going to cheat because then we'll get there quicker. Okay, here we are in the end, and then there's a dragon up there. Now, of course, when you're in the end, if you wear a carved pumpkin, you're less likely to get attacked by the Enderman. Then you can use texture packs, actually, to remove that look of the jack lantern if you want. Here. Where's sounds? There. That dragon's going to make it hard for me to talk to you. Okay, so there is the Ender Dragon. He's flying around. And every now and then, while he'll come down and he'll attack, he will breathe his dragon fire. So, let's go to survival now, because we need him to try and hit us, right? Where, oh, where'd he go? Very elusive. Oh, there he is. Come on. Oh, there's a fireball right there. Okay, that's Dragonfire, and oh, I completely forgot to get a bottle. Let's come in creative right now. So what you do is you're just trying to get him to shoot a ball like that, and then you just right-click on it with a bottle. And the idea is you want to bring... There should be a lot of bottles, right? Yeah, maybe you got to have a chest or something. Okay, let me give myself a bunch of bottles and go in survival. Okay. Oh, oh, dang it, it went away. Hey, dragon, I need you to shoot more fire at me. Oh, there's more right there. Okay. Yeah, so I have a bunch on you. Ah, it's already gone. Well, I got some. Oh, oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. Yeah, see, just collecting a ton of them. I've got 19 of them already. That's how you get Dragon's Breath. Ah! The dragon! Very nice to have a bunch of armor, and like I said, you typically want to have a carved pumpkin on your head to protect you from the Endermen. And just let him keep breathing fire on the ground, and you just keep picking it up. Well, it's gone again already. Look, I've already gotten 24 of them. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Here we go. 49. 49. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, well, I think I'm actually already done with this tutorial. That's how you get Dragon Breath. As far as getting back... Ooh, I should have said this. This is actually the best way to do this, really. Uh, you want to put an end chest in the survival... in the overworld, and in this world, just somewhere safe, like if you had a bunker here, put an end chest here, then you put everything of yours inside. And then you could just let yourself die. Or of course if you've won, then you go back to the portal. But say you don't want to kill the ender dragon because you want all those whatever things, right? So then you would die by jumping off into the void or something. And you'd come back and voila, there would be all your dragon's breath. Yeah, ender chest is actually very important for dragon's breath. Good thing I thought of that before I ended this video, because that's important. Okay, well, I think, I think that's all, so there you go. There's how to get Dragon's Breath.